Greetings. Hi, I'm Dr. Walter Jacobson, a board-certified psychiatrist, a spiritual psychotherapist, and a mastery of life mentor. Okay, I uh, posted uh, recently uh, a quote from A Course in Miracles, which said, exclude no one from your love. Okay. So I got a bunch of likes, but then I got people who said, well, the obvious uh, uh, rejoinder, well, what about Hitler? You know, and what about Mussolini? Exclude no one from your love, even even them? What about, you know, and they, the people listed a whole bunch of horrible human beings who had done some horrific things. And after each one, I said, uh, that's right, no exceptions. That's right, no exceptions. That's right, no exceptions. And then someone even said, uh, very devout Christian said, uh, uh, yeah, except for Satan. Yeah, you got to exclude Satan from your love. And uh, again, my response was, no. There, uh, no, you, you cannot exclude Satan. There can be no exceptions. Exclude no one from your love is very explicit. It's, it's not complicated. It doesn't say exclude no, no one except no conditions. And the reason why, you know, so people would think, well, you had to, you got to be out of your mind. Yeah, you're going to, you're going to, uh, love these, these people. You're going, you're going to forgive these people. Well, the, all, the best response I can make to that is by quoting uh, Martin Luther King Jr., who once said, hate the sin, but love the sinner. Yeah. So, uh, it, you know, uh, the, these are difficult. This is a very, 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 very difficult concept to ingest and to embrace and to apply in your life. But, the, you know, but this is progress, not perfection. This is the place we want to go to each one of us. Really, we would, it would really be best if we could find a way to have love and compassion in our hearts for everyone, no matter how bad they have behaved or are behaving. Hate the sin, but find a way to have compassion for the sinner. Uh, this elevates us when we do this. This elevates the planet when we do this. Um, it is our judgment. It is our judgment that, that uh, you are bad and I am good. In general, that is the problem. Sure, you take someone like Hitler and Mussolini and Satan, and those are the extreme cases, but there are very moderate and mild cases where people aren't doing horrific things. They aren't terrible people. And yet still we find a way to hate them. We find a way to be unforgiving and unloving and unpassionate, uh, uncompassionate towards them. So uh, by, by trying to find like uh, some sort of exception to the rule, uh, it's just a distraction. Because you and me on a basic level, on a daily level, you know, we've got a job ahead of us. We've got a job to do. And that is to open our hearts and to open to, to love and to uh, and to get rid of our harsh judgments that are divisive and uh, you know and and not always right because oftentimes our harsh judgments are are biases and prejudices and uh, and and misperceptions and misconceptions of other people. Uh, we need to try to see our, our our brother and sister in everyone we meet. I think that's like a John Lennon quote uh, of some sort. Uh, but we, we really need to see the, the, the good in everyone despite how they're behaving. We need to see the Christ in everyone despite how we're, we, how we're behaving. We need to see everyone as, uh, as a loving child of God and, uh, and, to, uh, and, and, and to give them that respect and that love despite how badly they're behaving. And keep in mind that people who behave badly, people who do evil things, you may believe in Satan and evil, uh, but I don't. I believe this is just mental illness, that the, 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 the sickest, most evil people are, are not the devil, are not Satan. They're mentally ill. And ultimately, should they be punished? Yes, but uh, we you need to try to understand that this is mental illness. Uh, the, the desire to hurt is sadistic. The desire to kill, uh, you know, people that you don't like is is sickness. And uh, we need to be role models of right action and behaviors. And so, on the the macrocosm of people like Hitler and Mussolini, and, but on on the microcosm at our basic daily level, love ye one another. You know, love thy enemies as you would thy friends.
It's very simple. It's very basic. It's very obvious. If you happen to uh, read the Bible or believe in the Bible or have a, a Christian New Testament uh, mentality, then uh, you, you really shouldn't ignore <laughs> yeah, ignore what the book says. Ignore what Christ says. Love ye one another is not love ye one another except like Hitler, Mussolini, and Trump, and uh, you know, Hillary, and anybody else that uh, you're looking funny at.